Nanocomposite is a multi-phase solid material where one of the phases has one, two or three dimensions of less than 100 nanometers, or structures having nanoscale repeat distances between the different phases that make up the material. In the broadest sense this definition can include porous media, colloids, gels and copolymers, but is more usually taken to mean the solid combination of a bulk matrix and nano-dimensional phase differing in properties due to dissimilarities in structure and chemistry. The mechanical, electrical, thermal, optical, electrochemical, catalytic properties of the nano-composite will differ markedly from that of the component materials. Size limits for these effects have been proposed, and LT, 5 nanometers for catalytic activity, and LT, 20 nanometers for making a hard magnet magnetic material soft, and LT, 50 nanometers for refractive index changes, and an LT, 100 nanometers for achieving superparamagnetism. Mechanical strengthening a restricting matrix dislocation movement. Nanocomposites are found in nature, for example in the structure of the abalone shell and bone. The use of nanoparticle-rich materials long predates the understanding of the physical and chemical nature of these materials. Jose Yacoman et al. investigated the origin of the depth of color and the resistance to acids and biocorrosion of my blue paint, attributing it to a nanoparticle mechanism. For the mid-1950s nanoscale organoclase have been used to control flow of polymer solutions of the constitution of gels. By the 1970s polymer clay composites were the topic of textbooks, although the term nanocomposites was not in common use. In mechanical terms, nanocomposites differ from conventional composite materials due to the exceptionally high surface-to-volume ratio of the reinforcement forcing phase and or its exceptionally high aspect ratio. The reinforcing material can be made up of particles, sheets of fibers. The area of the interface between the matrix and reinforcement phase is typically an order of magnitude greater than for conventional composite materials. The matrix material properties are significantly affected in the vicinity of the reinforcement. A giant al. Note that with polymer nanocomposites properties related to local chemistry, degree of thermosat cure, polymer chain mobility, polymer chain conformation, degree of polymer chain ordering a crystallinity can all vary significantly and continuously from the interface with the reinforcement into the bulk of the matrix. This large amount of reinforcement surface area means that a relatively small amount of nanoscale reinforcement can have an observable effect on the macroscale properties of the composite. For example, adding carbon nanotubes improves the electrical and thermal conductivity. Other kinds of nanoparticulates may result in enhanced optical properties, dielectric properties, heat resistance and mechanical properties such as stiffness, strength and resistance to wear and damage. In general, the nano-reinforcement is dispersed into the matrix during processing. The percentage by weight of the nano particulates introduced can remain very low due to the low filler percolation threshold, especially for the most commonly used non-spherical high aspect ratio fillers. The orientation and arrangement of asymmetric nanoparticles, thermal property mismatch at the interface, interface density per unit volume of nanocomposite, and polydispersity of nanoparticles significantly affect the effective thermal conductivity of nanocomposites. Ceramic matrix nanocomposites. In this group of composites the main part of the volume is occupied by a ceramic, i.e. a chemical compound from the group of oxides, nitrides, borides, silicides etc. Dot. 
In most cases, ceramic matrix nanocomposites encompass a metal as the second component, ideally both components, the metallic one and the ceramic one, are finely dispersed in each other in order to elicit the particular nanoscopic properties. Nanocomposite from these combinations were demonstrated in improving their optical, electrical and magnetic properties as well as tribological, corrosion resistance and other protective properties. The binary phase diagram of the mixture should be considered in designing ceramic metal nanocomposites and measures have to be taken to avoid a chemical reaction between both components. The last point mainly is of importance for the metallic component that may easily react with the ceramic and thereby lose its metallic character. This is not an easily obeyed constraint because the preparation of the ceramic component generally requires high process temperatures. The most safe measure thus is to carefully choose immiscible metal and ceramic phases. A good example for such a combination is represented by the ceramic metal composite of titanium 2 peroxide and Cu, the mixtures of which were found immiscible over large areas in the Gibbs triangle of CuOT. The concept of ceramic matrix nanocomposites was also applied to thin films that are solid layers of a few nanometer to some tens of micro m thickness deposited upon an underlying substrate and that play an important role in the functionalization of technical surfaces. Gas flow sputtering by the hollow cathode technique turned out as a rather effective technique for the preparation of nanocomposite layers. The process operates as a vacuum-based deposition technique and is associated with high deposition rates up to some micrometer per second and the growth of nanoparticles in the gas phase. Nanocomposite layers in the ceramics range of composition were prepared from titanium 2 peroxide and Cu by the hollow cathode technique that showed a high mechanical hardness, small coefficients of friction and a high resistance to corrosion. Metal matrix nanocomposites. Metal matrix nanocomposites can also be defined as reinforced metal matrix composites. This type of composites can be classified as continuous and non-continuous reinforced materials. One of the more important nanocomposites is carbon nanotube metal matrix composites, which is an emerging new material that is being developed to take advantage of the high tensile strength and electrical conductivity of carbon nanotube materials. Critical to the realization of CNTMMC possessing optimal properties in these areas of the development of synthetic techniques that are economically producible, provide for a homogeneous dispersion of nanotubes in the metallic matrix, and lead to strong interfacial adhesion between the metallic matrix and the carbon nanotubes. In addition to carbon carbon nanotube metal matrix composites, boron nitride reinforced metal matrix composites and carbon nitride metal matrix composites of the new research areas on metal matrix nanocomposites. A recent study, comparing the mechanical properties of single and multi-walled reinforced polymeric nanocomposites to tungsten disulfide nanotubes reinforced, PPF nanocomposites suggest that tungsten disulfide nanotubes reinforced PPF nanocomposites possess significantly higher mechanical properties and tungsten disulfide nanotubes are better reinforcing agents than carbon nanotubes. Increases in the mechanical properties can be attributed to a uniform dispersion of inorganic nanotubes in the polymer matrix and increased cross-linking density of the polymer in the presence of tungsten disulfide nanotubes. These results suggest that inorganic nanomaterials, in general, may be better reinforcing agents compared to carbon nanotubes. Another kind of nanocomposite is the energetic nanocomposite, generally as a hybrid sol gel with a silica base, which, when combined with metal oxides and nanoscale aluminum powder, can form superthermite materials. 
polymer matrix nanocomposites. In the simplest case, appropriately adding nanoparticulates to a polymer matrix can enhance its performance, often dramatically, by simply capitalizing on the nature and properties of the nanoscale filler. This strategy is particularly effective in yielding high-performance composites. When good dispersion of the filler is achieved and the properties of the nanoscale filler are substantially different or better than those of the matrix, nanoparticles such as graphene, carbon nanotubes, molybdenum disulfide and tungsten disulfide are being used as reinforcing agents to fabricate mechanically strong biodegradable polymeric nanocomposites for bone tissue engineering applications. The addition of these nanoparticles in the polymer matrix at low concentrations cause significant improvements in the compressive and flexural mechanical properties of polymeric nanocomposites. Potentially, these nanocomposites may be used as a novel, mechanically strong, lightweight composite as bone implants. The results suggest that mechanical reinforcement is dependent on the nanostructure morphology defects, dispersion of nanomaterials in the polymer matrix, and the cross-linking density of the polymer. In general, two-dimensional nanostructures can reinforce the polymer better than one-dimensional nanostructures, and inorganic nanomaterials are better reinforcing agents than carbon-based nanomaterials. In addition to mechanical properties, Polymer nanocomposites based on carbon nanotubes or graphene have been used to enhance a wide range of properties, giving rise to functional materials for a wide range of high added value applications in fields such as energy conversion and storage, sensing and biomedical tissue engineering. For example, multi-walled carbon nanotubes based polymer nanocomposites have been used for the enhancement of the electrical conductivity, nanoscale dispersion of filler controlled nanostructures in the composite can introduce new physical properties and novel behaviors that are absent in the unfilled matrices. This effectively changes the nature of the original matrix. Some examples of such new properties are fire resistance or flame retardancy and accelerated biodegradability. A range of polymeric nanocomposites are used for biomedical applications such as tissue engineering, drug delivery, cellular therapies. Due to unique interactions between polymer and nanoparticles, a range of property combinations can be engineered to mimic native tissue structure and properties. A range of natural and synthetic polymers are used to design polymeric nanocomposites for biomedical applications including starch, cellulose, alginate, chitosan, collagen, gelatin, and fibrin, poly, 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 and poly. A range of nanoparticles including ceramic, polymeric, Metal oxide and carbon-based nanomaterials are incorporated within polymeric network to obtain desired property combinations.